I look freaking crazy, but I have been trying to film a video or just like start filming for the last like three days and I just said fuck it I'm gonna wake up and just do it so here I am it is literally so early I just got out of bed hence why I look like this <laughs> but <laughs> like I might just have to wear a hat okay <laughs> literally after eight minutes, I've decided to put my hair up because my hair is honestly just ugly. I got this haircut and I don't know why I impulsively decided to chop off as much as I did, but I did. And now I'm dealing with the repercussions. Honestly, all of last week and up until yesterday, even this morning a little bit, I noticed myself feeling negative emotions and I thought, why not validate myself and test out this new homework assignment that my therapist gave me? So, hence why I journaled and holy shit, like I swear, sometimes I just forget the power of these simple habits and if I would have done that last week, would I have felt better? Probably, but did I wait a whole week? Yes. And I feel so much better from just journaling and validating myself. So that's that. Now it is a little bit past 7.30 and I am gonna practice my guitar for a little bit before I head into work because I have my lesson later this evening and I can't show up not improved. <laughs> okay, so this is my outfit for the day. White t-shirt from Aritzia and then hot pink pants from IMGia bag from Charles and Keith and then combat boots from Sam Edelman and this is my Barbie fit that opens uh, six string then second fret of the uh, of the fifth string twice Sorry, that open string is twice as well. Then down and open. I just got done with my session. And I would say like, honestly for me, it's recently I've been living in a state of like general anxiety where I just wake up and I can just feel it. And there's only small moments throughout the day where I just don't feel it. But I feel like after yoga or like even during yoga, it's just like the one time where like, I'm truly at peace and I'm trying to figure out how to just feel that more day to day but as of now all I can do is kind of do what I need to do. The lighting is so bad and the music is so loud. Okay so I'm currently specking designs that I want made and the thing is this is the worst part is my hair looks kind of crazy but since i have to figure out what material i want i went to the mall and purchased samples to source like pretty much the fabric that i'm looking for and as a fashionista just the fact that i have to buy it to cut it up and send it is like the worst it's new having even worn it 
96% polyester, 4% elastic. It's the worst, but I'm gonna show you what I got because they're super cute. I got this very long dress, but the material of this is like in between business professional and casual, and I just love the lay of this. So I need to ship that out and cut it. And then I got this chiffon top. Super cute. I like this because of like the sheerness. I need to send that out. Like talk about wasting my money. I mean, it's not, but it feels like it. And then I got this cotton shirt. Super cute. It's like a halter top, but they're like being cut and I'm so sad. And then the very last thing is I'm making this t-shirt, but I want to figure out which product exactly. So I got a t-shirt material. This one's a little bit softer than I would like, so I'm going to send it over and hopefully they can source something with a little bit more structure. But I'm going to show you what I'm specking. Okay, so I'm currently working on this design right now, but I have other ones here. I have finished these two and then I have to redo... I'm not making this anymore actually, so I need to make two new ones, but this is gonna be my evening. Okay, so you already know, right? Yeah. So after that, we got. So that's fishing open again, twice. That's uh, uh, same rhythm as the first one. Then we got the uh, three, three, two, and then it starts over. So it's. finally pulled out my camera for the first time all day and it is almost over the day is almost over however i am i drove out to Mulholland drive and it's this scenic drive in la and the view that i see which i'll turn the camera around and show you is breathtaking like i can never get tired of looking at it and i have my guitar with me so i'm gonna practice guitar um and enjoy the sunset no better feeling than this and yeah i'm just honestly super happy i'm having a really good day i always tend to have really good days when i progress in my guitar lessons and that happens to be every week because i put in the hard work <laughs> but no seriously i just love my thursdays because i can just go home from work do guitar and then play more guitar so i'm not mad It has been a couple of hours and I was writing for the last like hour. It's so funny because whenever I write, it just makes me realize like how jumbled my thoughts actually are, which is a good thing because writing is the only way I can really understand what I'm thinking. But I was kind of tired, so I went to go lay down. And now that I'm laying down, I'm like, I could actually nap, but it is not that time i have a lot i need to do actually before tomorrow because i have such a big day and i have a deadline to meet tomorrow so i need to not nap but i really want to and then i'm also hungry so i need to make dinner and then i was supposed to do laundry today but our laundry machine broke <laughs> so i'm not doing that but as i lay here i'm just like uh I'm losing to the nap god.
what I wanted to say is, as you just saw, I finally wrapped up all five of my designs and made tech packs for them, which was truly my least favorite part, but it is what it is. And now my next steps are to send them to different vendors that I'm scouting right now. So hopefully one of them works out. And then I also have family in Vietnam, which is super helpful. But I'm going to send samples, like fabric samples to them and have them source them. And hopefully we really make a dent in production because that would be amazing. Um, but right now what I'm really doing is just organizing everything so that it's ready to go. And then I'm going to work on the social aspect of my brand and it's so interesting because anyone that really knows me like I'm just not a social media person and what I'm doing essentially is I'm hoping to launch my brand in like a year a year and a half we'll see it just really depends on production but I don't have a name to myself, I don't have a following, I'm just someone that loves entrepreneurship and fashion and so I just love, like I've always wanted my own clothing brand which is really why I'm doing all of this, I just I am doing and I have been doing operations for other businesses for a while now, like almost four years and I truly thought like why not do my own thing now because why not, but it makes it hard because I'm worried that by the time I need it, by the time I'm worried that by the time I launch my product I just won't have people to sell it to and I'm not wanting to start from Etsy nor Amazon like I want an e-commerce brand from the ground up that is just like mine and so from a social marketing perspective I'm really trying to figure out how to grow a following and just build that so that when the time my products are selling I kind of have people to work with um, but you know like I have a year a year and a half for now so I'm gonna pivot explore try new things but follow my Instagram I'll show you so I just launched my brand Instagram last week and really right now what it is is a curated mood board of all the inspiration of really who i am what i want this brand to be and i so far am enjoying the fun that i'm having i genuinely have six followers so please give me a follow <laughs> and yeah like i'm just really playing around and seeing how to do this whole shabam this is so new for me like i just am not a social person i don't even know how to navigate a lot of these things so it is what it is it's also just a big opportunity to grow and learn which i love